My name is uh, Mathieu Dupont. Uh, I have a blendery in uh, Lopem. It's uh, close to Bruges. It's called Pelikel Verhestingen. Uh, Verhestingen is like a kind of a weird word because it's not really a word that's commonly used. It's, uh, it really means fermentations. Uh, so basically what I do is I, I make uh, fermentations based on uh, beer, uh, moreover lambic, and uh, ciders and some wine. Uh, Where do you get your wort from, or do you do you actually ferment it in your own place? Or okay, you... yeah. So I buy the wort from uh, uh, the Troch, uh, some from uh, Girardin and uh, from Dufontaine. I uh, referment it in my own barrels uh, that are located close to Bruges, um, and then I wait for one to two years to uh, to blend them into the the, the fruit I use and uh, the, the the never with the cider. The cider is always the cider, and it's never the beer. So they never uh, overlap. So cider is cider and beer is beer for me. Where did you learn your craft? Was it to, to blend? Uh, so I, um, so I think almost 10 years ago, or like yeah, 12 years ago, I started working in a beer bar in Bruges, and uh, I started to get to know what lambic really is and stuff, and I uh, started to visiting the breweries, uh, the brewing process, and that and all that. Uh, and then, you know, I just got to know a lot of more people personally, like uh, obviously uh, Raf from Boca Raider, uh, Sam from Bovkont, uh, you know, uh, Tom from Antidote. Uh, I read a lot, I look up a lot, I'm a bit maniac and I, and I really wanted to get it right. And so all, all of those factors together made me, you know, uh, make my own product uh, to, to what I think is what I like it and uh, perfecting it through, through the years. So, uh, Where do you go from here? What's your production level per year? Uh, so I started two years ago as a professional, professional, still hobby level in amounts, um, and uh, I'm, I moved to a bigger location this year uh, with more barrels and uh, but still low amounts. Uh, I think I now have uh, 30 barrels, which is still reasonably small. Uh, I hope to, you know, uh, get this going as a full-time job because now I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a nurse. I work in a hospital uh, as a 80% and uh, I'm trying to combine it but it's getting harder and harder because I, I uh, yeah it's I just want to get 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 the fruit right get get all the things right so I'm I'm on a on a on a level that I'm I'm balancing like between those two so I think hopefully next year I can do the, this full time so. so we have the Seine Valley where the traditional lambics you know they have this kind of Domain, you know, this protected sure. name. Uh, how does it feel to be outside of that, or how do you work with that? It feels good. Yeah? It feels really good. I think it's something uh, that should be, uh, how do you say it? Uh, encouraged. Encouraged, yeah. I, I, I mean, the fact that uh, some, some breweries actually sell the word to me uh, means that they, they also, in my opinion, think it's not a problem. You know, the, the, the beer is brewed still into the, within the walls of the Pajotaland, uh, but it also means that they are uh, willing to, you know, let it go beyond that and, and, and uh, give somebody else the, the, the opportunity to put their creativity into the, into the beer, uh, which is outside of those uh, regions. Um, yeah, I think it's something uh, a lot uh, more and more people will start doing, obviously. Uh, so what, what? How does it work? Do they actually do the cool ship and the inoculation in Peyote yeah. Land? Or, yes. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah, they yeah. ship that. To that the... never changes. Yeah, yeah. that is. Uh, it's key to call it lambic. Obviously, yeah. um, I don't think uh, I would call it lambic. Or I also never uh, try to. I never uh, display the, the the breweries on the bottles. It's very important for those people in the region that they they, they are uh, most of the time they are they are farmers as, as well. They uh, really used this like 30, 40, 50 years ago to, to you know get their business going, and it's like uh, I wouldn't say it, it's it, it, a lot of breweries they never use the lambic as a main product. They 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 do grain and they do they do uh, cattle and they do all these other stuff, and yeah they brew lambic, and and some of them are, make very very good lambic, but they're never like yeah put my name on the label because you know I'm I'm not selling them you know they they sell me the brewed beer. And I'm doing my own thing with it, so there's no benefit for for neither of us. You know, uh, I'm never gonna use another brewery's name just be, be, because I want to benefit from that name. I'm trying to build my own product, and that's why I buy, you know, the beer, and and, and I'm trying to build my own product. So. Well, good luck in that. We hope to see many great things from Thanks. you. In the uh, coming years. I hope so too, and I hope I can uh, expand a little bit more, and then just you know keep that going as a full-time job. That's 
Excellent. really, really what I want to do. And, uh, and we hope to see you there and then visit you. You should. Sometime. You're always welcome. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers. Very good.